guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got something completely different. So, I know you lot are used to seeing some beautiful cars on our channel and occasionally some extravagant houses, but today, we're doing something completely different. We're delving in to some watch content. Now, we wouldn't be able to do this video without our, our partners and, and people we're working with, Zanko Jewelers. Remember the name, Zanko Jewelers. Their stuff should be here and here. Go and check them out, go and support. Without them, we wouldn't be able to make these videos, not today's one and not any of the ones that we're gonna do in the future. So please go and show them support and make it worthwhile them allowing us to do any of these videos in the future. What we're looking at today is a beautiful, beautiful Omega Seamaster 300M. So, without talking too much, Make sure you stay tuned, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. So, taking a look at this, this Omega here, this is a beautiful, beautiful watch, and it's a beautiful brand as well. I'd say it's personally one that is very much understated. I know a lot of people love to just nowadays go for, you know, your, your Rolexes, which again, is a, is a well-renowned brand and is superb. Um, your Audemars Piguet's and your, your Richard Millie's and all those other sorts of brands, but this is one that shouldn't be forgotten about. The you know engineering that goes into making these watches is pretty much just as good as some of the watches that you lot are seeing with Rolexes and, and all of these others. I, I, I put Richard Neely on a different level because I've just seen something and my mind has changed completely. But we'll come to that another day. But with that being said, this is definitely up there with a lot of these other brands. So what we've got is we've got a 42 millimeter um, dial, which is got a ceramic bezel as you can see now the ceramic bezel essentially is scratch it's a scratch resistant scratch proof whatever you want to call it um heat resistant as well um and it is also anti-allergic now this is something i've just learned i'm going to be learning loads of new stuff as well on this journey of watches but i didn't realize that a lot of people are actually allergic to wearing certain metals um, on their body and on their skin so the ceramic actually stops all of that it's anti-allergic for, for anybody apparently um, so ceramic bezels is definitely the way to go in terms of also maintaining your watch you don't want to get any scratches or anything like that so it's super the bezel moving down to the strap we've got a stainless steel strap um, which personally if we're speaking freely I'm not a huge fan of I'm not a huge fan of the strap now what Omega does also offer, which I've seen in person, um, is the ability to, to get these watches on a rubber strap. Now, this watch personally, I put on a rubber strap. I think it looks so much better. I think it's superb. But nonetheless, with this strap, it's still a, a classy, classy watch. Now, when you come to actually look at the dial, you will see that you've got, you know, sort of like a wave effect. Now, the reason why we've got this wave effect is because it's actually a diving watch. So the watch can go, it's, it's Omega 300M, so 300 meters underground. Um, that's what the watch is meant for. It's meant to be going deep, deep down under the water. So that's the reason why we've got the nice, beautiful wave effects on the dial. We also, at all of these, uh, the, you know, the, the hourly markers or the, the minute markers, whatever you want to call it, um, we've got obviously these white circles. Now these aren't just standard white circles to implement, you know, the five, the five minute intervals on the, on the clock that like you would see on a standard clock uh, you know, at your house or something. Um, these also illuminate in the dark. It illuminates a nice, beautiful blue color as well, which is very similar to a lot of the Rolexes that you will see people wear. So, it is a beautiful, beautiful watch. I'm a big fan. And I said, I would definitely get it on a rubber strap, personally. Um, and it is big. So a lot of the Rolexes, you know, they start, you know, maybe, we're talking men's watches moving forward, um, start about 36 millimeters and they can range up to about 42 to 44. I think the Yacht Master 2 is a, is a, is a 44 millimeter watch. Um, this is a 42 millimeter, so it is quite big um, and it is quite chunky, as you can see, and it is quite heavy as well. So it is a good watch, I would say, for a daily. And the reason why I would say that is because you don't necessarily want a watch that's too light as a daily. Um, you want to ensure that you know you can feel your watch. You, you ensure that people can't just take it off your wrist, sleight of hand, or, or any of that sort of stuff. Um, it also is a very good watch for somebody that wants to have a humble perception, to say the least. If you know about your watches, 
um, and you know quality watches, then you will know what this is. But your typical average Joe, when you're going down the street, isn't gonna know what this is, do you know what I mean? So, you know, if you wanna stay humble, you don't want too much people to, to know exactly what you're wearing or the value of what you're wearing, this is the perfect watch for you. With value, speaking on value, let's come and talk numbers because that's what everybody wants to see um, and that's what everybody loves to talk about. Now, this watch retails at about £4,630, around those sorts of numbers. Since this has come out, unfortunately, this has actually dropped in value a bit um, and it's dropped to about 4K at the moment. But it's like the crypto market, it's like the forex market, you buy low and you sell high, yeah? This is, if in my eyes, this is a steal, this is a bargain, do you know what I mean? You get the equivalent in this as a Rolex, you're paying 7, 8K, so we've got the Submariner on here, there'll be another video for that, but this is retailed about 7K, do you know what I mean? Um, and if you want to buy one, you're still not going to be able to get for 7K. The fact that you can get this and wear this as a daily watch for £4,000, it kind of it kind of just speaks volumes. I, I honestly think it speaks volumes. I think it's a beautiful watch. We've obviously got the date down here at the bottom. Um, and lastly, as most of you may know, a lot of the top watches are Swiss made. So Swiss made is the actual movement within the watch. Um, the other type of movement you've got is a quartz movement. So two different types of movements. There may be more. I'm not a professional on watches yet. I will get there. If there is more, just put it in the description or the comments below, and and I'll definitely pick it up. From my current understanding and, and and to my to the best of my knowledge, the main difference between the Swiss made watches and the quartz movement is the sweeping hand. So we don't get TikTok. You know what I'm saying? No, none of that. No, no, no. This thing is just smooth, it's flush. Another superb feature about the Omega Seamaster um, that I love, and I think most watches should start to implement this moving forward, because it gives you a much better feel of what's really going on, and the reason why watches are worth the value that they are, is the open case lap. Now, this has got a beautiful open case lap, so as we go around, you can see some more elements of what's really going into the engineering behind this watch um, and it's something that I love often you find it on you know uh, other mobile gates where they have beautiful open case backs as well some of them turn to skeleton um, and it's similar with Richard Millie's as well where you know uh, Richard Millie's a different level so maybe I shouldn't put in this video maybe I should stop saying the name that's more of a skeleton but the same sort of feature I think you kind of get what I'm saying um, it's a beautiful thing to have and when you do take off your watch around somebody that does know it and you show them and they're able to see what's really going in and on the back of the watch um, it does make a difference I would say so another thing that we get with the Omega Seamaster is it's, it's like it's got two crowns yeah um, a lot of people say that it actually looks like a, a Reese's buttercup chocolate thing you know what I'm saying I've never had it because I'm allergic to nuts but regardless it looks like that yeah what does it do that's the question what does it do so it's a diving watch as earlier mentioned it allows you to go 300 meters now when i was actually on holiday most recently i actually went scuba diving was it scuba diving or yeah scuba diving yeah that's what it's called not snorkeling and i actually went seven meters down and one thing that i realized when i went seven meters down which is not that far this is 300 one thing i realized is the pressure really really starts to get to you gets to your ears and everything it's techy it's mad techy now what this does is it actually is a helium release valve so as you go down underwater it allows helium to be released to essentially keep the, the the pressure of the watch calm and composed basically and that stops any damage to to any of the watch any of the you know mechanical things within the watch so that's another lovely feature that comes with this and if you are somebody that does like to go um, scuba diving or you like to do a lot of swimming or whatnot this is you know the perfect sort of watch for anything to do that that, that sort of activity uh, you won't have any issues you know at a later date on the other hand I did have an AP that went into the water one time and that turned out to be a little bit of an issue so don't go into the water with AP go into the water with a sea monster yeah that's the learning curve there Trust me, you don't want to make it, it could be expensive. So just, just, just listen to me on that one. This is the one to go on the wall. So, guys, 
I hope you lot enjoyed today's video. As I just spoke about, we just looked at this beautiful Omega Seamaster 300M. As I said, please, 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 if you want more videos like this, please go and take a look at Zanko Jewelers. Um, link is going to be in the description. Taylor should have already done some B-roll, so you lot should see some of their page and all that stuff. This video wouldn't be possible without them. So please go and show them some support and, and make it worthwhile them allowing us to do these videos. If you liked it, please like, subscribe and comment. Please share the video as well. Um, and fingers crossed, moving forward, we should be delving into loads more watch videos. So make sure you stay tuned. Peace out.